Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about M1 Finance. So we're going to be talking about their owner's reward card. Is this one of the best credit cards of 2023? I think so, because they will pay you up to $2,400 in cash back per year. That is an awesome and amazing thing. So it's not just first year, but it's every year. So it is a huge way to get cash back. Uh, I think it's definitely one of the best credit cards of 2023. Why? 2,400 reasons why. So uh, before we jump into too many details, I do have a quick disclaimer. So I actually am a customer of M1 and I am affiliated with M1, as you can tell by the shirt. And M1 was cool enough to send me a, uh, a nice little mug, which is really cool. They haven't sent me a hat yet, so I just sent them an email about that. Anyway, so love M1. Been a customer of theirs for years. Uh, really appreciate what they have to offer. This is my own personal review for informational purposes only. All the information is accurate as of time of this recording, and all the screenshots are from their website. All right, so moving on. How do you spell love? Well, love is spelled not L-O-V-E. It's spelled T-I-M-E. What you spend time on is what you love. Um, so to me, the three most important things would be your faith, your family, and then everything else. All right, so moving along. So... I do have a $3 million challenge for this channel for the year 2023. I want to help at least 1,000 people get at least $3,000 each from these videos in 2023. If you can appreciate profitable content like this on a consistent basis, do me a favor and hit this video with a huge thumbs up. Definitely appreciate that. So if you've never heard of M1, this is their uh, BVB profile. Uh, they do have an A minus, which is still an A. They've been around eight years. Uh, I've been a customer of theirs for half of the time that they've been around. So I uh, do love what they have to offer. They definitely take care of their people, have awesome customer service. All right, so in regards to credit cards, there's two parts to every credit card to consider. The first part is a sign-up bonus, which is basically why you sign up. And the second part is your points multipliers. So the owner's uh, card does not have uh, a sign-up bonus. Well, does, but it's not cash. Um, it is very, very generous, probably the most generous card in regards to cash back multipliers. So let's see if you'll agree with me that this is one of the best credit cards in 2023. So my personal threshold for a credit card is $500. If I get a card and I can make at least $500 off of it, I'm definitely interested. Notice I didn't say how much I pay to the card and fees and whatnot, but this is cash back. So we're going to talk about how you can get up to $2,400 per year for getting this card and using it. So as I said, I am an affiliate for M1. Uh, this is my affiliate link with them. Uh, here's the QR code for that link in the description box down below. Also, you can always email me at Churning Adventures if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, or criticisms about anything going on in this video. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so here's one thing as an affiliate I do have to say um, in regards to interest rates and stuff that changes uh, because of the Fed and everything else, uh, the most complete updated details on this card are on their website. So this information is accurate as the time of this recording. So apart from that, any specific details I'm required to say, um, check on their website for anything that could have updated because... The only constant in life is change. All right, so here's what happens when you click on my link. You're going to see meet the credit card for investors, credit uh, the owner's rewards card by M1. Now you can build wealth while you spend with brands you believe in. Start earning towards your future every time you tap to pay or shop online. So that's the card, metal card, really nice looking card. Uh, earn like you own the place. Get up to 10% cash back. Bam, 10% cash back. M1 Plus members can earn up to 200 a month. Bam. So when I talk about points multipliers, so you can earn up to 200 per month, 200 times 12. High school math teacher says that is definitely 2,400. When shopping with select brands. Uh, reinvest rewards. So you can take your cash back. You can put it into their um, investment platform uh, for long-term impact. Uh, metal card, not to brag. It's a beauty. You'll love paying with this unique contactless card. And then uh, start your application. Bam. So we're going to see um, 50 plus tickers, 70 plus rewards. So they have really improved this card. When I first saw it, I kind of didn't like it because they wanted you to be 
you know, if you're going to get cash back for, for example, Dollar General, they wanted you to be an investor of the Dollar General stock. And then they they made it a lot more easier, a lot more user friendly. So they have, uh, if you see on their website, they got a full list of uh, the 10 percent cashback brands, 5 percent cashback and two and a half percent brands. This one right here is the most interesting, in my opinion. Uh, we'll talk about that more in a minute. But if you hear, click here, you sell 10 percent brands all the 5% brands and the 2.5% brands. So they do have account protection with uh, peace of mind. One cool thing about this card is that you can turn your card on and off, manage and freeze your card easily from your M1 account. Um, they have zero liability and stuff like that. Securities M1 Invest are insured up to 500,000 by the SIPC. So they do also use the latest in uh, account protection uh, technology. So owner's reward program, this is their app. So uh, said you can uh, get a whole bunch of cash back when shopping with select brands. You can get uh, two and a half, five, or one and a half, two and a half, five, or 10% back. We'll look at those brands in a minute. That's another look at uh, the card. All right, so 10% uh, back on various brands, including Dollar General, which to me is the most interesting one, Tesla, Adobe, and more. Tesla is, is an interesting one. All right, so um, this one right here, Dollar General, why does this uh, seem to, to pique my interest the most? Why? Because Dollar General sells gift cards. They sell big dollars, and uh, you can buy $500 gift cards, like for Visa and MasterCard. You can use those cards to pay your bills and stuff like that. So if you spend $2,000 per month, uh, like soon, I'm going to have property taxes due. And for a lot of the property taxes, I can use uh, Visa gift cards to pay property taxes and your water bill and your electric bill and stuff like that. You get a 10% cash back. So stuff like Adobe, sure, some people can spend money on it. AMC movie theaters. Movies are expensive, but, you know, um, I haven't been to one in years. Uh, anyways, but... Dropbox, Dollar General, so that, that seems to be the one with uh, the most amount of benefit because they do sell the gift cards, all sorts of gift cards there. Uh, Peloton, is that even a thing anymore since COVID is over? Stitch Fix, never heard of them. Spotify, I don't know how much you spend on there. Tesla, I wonder if you buy a car from Tesla, can you use this card to get 10% back on your payments? That would be another interesting play. That's why I mentioned them. Ulta, I don't know. I've never actually been inside one of those, but I'm married. So I don't know if they actually sell any gift cards or anything, but Dollar General to me sounds definitely like the uh, the plug for gift cards and being able to maximize value out of this play. 5% on various brands, including Domino's, gas stations, FedEx, UPS, and more. So we'll look through the list here. American Airlines, um, personally, I don't like booking uh, travel. Um, unless it's on something like uh, Amex Platinum, Amex Gold, Chase Sapphire Preferred, something that definitely has the travel protection. Um, I had a buddy of mine who went to Seattle. He's got family up there, and his flight got canceled, and he was just called me all angry. I was like, bro, what car did you use to, to book your uh, uh, your flight? He said, Amex Platinum. He said, bro, call up Amex. And uh, they put him up in a hotel, and I don't – believe this card has the travel protection. So I won't say that this is the best travel card because there are better travel cards. Um, I'll just call that as I see it. Um, if I'm going to travel, I would use the uh, card with the travel insurance. Amoco is your gas station card. BP, uh, Chewy, if you got a pet, pets get expensive awful quick. So to have a permanent 5% uh, back, that's pretty nice there. Chipotle, Chevron, another gas station. Texaco, another gas station. Uh, Domino's, you can buy gift cards there too. Um, Etsy Reverb, FedEx. I mean, if you got shipping company to get uh, 5% cash back, that's pretty nice there. GameStop, I'm not sure if they sell gift cards like Visa or MasterCard, JetBlue, Southwest, McDonald's, Converse, Nike, Purple, Burger King, Popeyes, Tim Hortons. We recently had a Tim Hortons built uh, close to where I live and one and done with them. They had the nastiest donuts I've ever had in my life. Um, Starbucks, Home Goods. I don't know if they sell any gift cards. 
uh, HomeSense, Marshalls, Sierra, TJ Maxx, United Airlines, UPS. So if you do shipping, you got you got shipping covered, permanent five percent back on uh, UPS, Wayfair, Exxon, Mobile. So pretty much almost all your big gas stations are covered for permanent, well not permanent, but these have been categories for a long time. KFC, Pizza Hut, my first job, uh, Taco Bell, uh, and then two and a half percent cash back. So if you spend money on Apple, um, that's a nice uh, play right there. Airbnb. Uh, Amazon, this is a nice play here. Amazon, you can buy like everything. It's it's Amazon and Walmart. Um, so you basically stuff mart is what I call Amazon and Walmart because all the stuff you can possibly want in your life are either at Amazon or Walmart. And I have the Walmart Plus uh, membership. I also have the Amazon Prime. So uh, we have the Amazon Hub really close to where we're at. So anything we want. My wife ordered something like at 11 in the morning and by, like, by 1 p.m. we already had on our house. Stuff Mart's amazing. So two and a half percent back on Stuff Mart. Audible for audiobooks. I like audiobooks, but I don't like them because you can't highlight. I like highlighting stuff when I read it and be able to go back and reread stuff. That's not as easy on. Uh... Anyway, Walgreens sells gift cards too. They're friendly. Whole Foods, Zappos, get some shoes. Best Buy sells gift cards. Sam's Club sells gift cards. Walmart definitely sells gift cards. They got a huge variety of all sorts of gift cards. So permanent two and a half percent cash back at Stuff Mart, Caviar, DoorDash. DoorDash is awesome. They constantly have, uh, about to take advantage of, they have 50% uh, off up to 15 bucks right now if you check it out as the time of this recording. eBay is another Stuff Mart, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, the tool store, the toy stores, um, Lyft, AT&T, that's not bad permanent two and a half percent back for paying your uh your phone bill internet bill torge they sell gift cards sprint same thing that's not a bad play two mobile permanent vote verizon so basically all your big cell phone car, uh, carriers uber eats uber postmates um i like instacart much better than uber eats because uh if you get something through insta through uber eats um their customer service is not as good about some uh Big thing of uh, ice cream from Costco through Uber Eats, and it came melted. So oh, we're sorry you didn't get at the temperature you wanted. Anyway, so for pretty much everything else is one and a half percent cash back. But in order to um, get to two and a half, five, and ten percent, you do need to be a member of M1 Plus. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'll show you how to get additional uh, months of that for uh for free well not for free but basically using another link so this is the link for the credit card so if you're interested definitely please uh use this link if you would like to support the channel it said link here qr code link in the description box down below and also on churning adventures at gmail.com so it said there is no annual fee for the card but in order to get the max cash back uh there is uh, 95 per year i'll show you how to get uh nine months so, um, where is it? Cashback rates, two and a half to ten percent require an active M1 Plus subscription. Build at ninety five annually, or ten dollars a month. Show you how to get that. There is no annual fee for the Owner's Rewards card. Uh, rates are as of June two, twenty twenty three. All right. So here is uh, a separate link. Um, so as I said, I am a customer of M1. And I'm also an affiliate for them. So here's my, this is my link. So get six months free uh, when someone joins M1 using your link. Uh, we'll also get, uh, if you use this link and you hit the referral terms and conditions, you also get a bonus 100 and I get 100. So this is my personal code here, but you get six months free when you use, also get six months free. Uh, when someone joins using this link with no limit, divide friends to invest, use an automated tool, so always commission free. You can earn six months, sixty dollars per referral each time a friend opens uh, an M1 Invest account using your code. Your friend deposits five thousand to their account within the first thirty days. You'll both get M1 Invest uh, bonus plus the six months of uh, M1 Plus for free. So, if you're interested in the six months M1 Plus, here is my personal code. Uh, it's also in the description box down below. QR code here or churningadventures at gmail.com. Um, here's a video I am about to make about their savings account bonus. 
So I did make a video about the uh, M1 Finance with the hundred dollar bonus. It's actually really cool because it's okay. There's I got called out. There's two companies that offer a hundred dollar bonus on Roth IRAs. M1 Finance is one of them. So um, I'll put the link to. It looks a little bit different than this one, but I'll put the link to the video for the other M1 Finance deal is up here. All right, so here's what happens when you click on the link uh, to sign up. So I put in a different email address uh, since I'm already, I'm not going to log in to uh, the account, but I just put in um, email pa uh, made up a password. So when you, when you um, sign up for the credit card, they offer you another three months of free M1 Plus. So there is that. So we're using my referral link. Plus uh, the link here for the credit card, you can get a total of nine months for the M1 Plus. So phone number, plug that in. Um, so they sent me a code, uh, legal name, address, date of birth, citizenship. Social security number, I did put my actual social security number in here even though I did have an account. I did not want to actually apply for this card as of right now. I'm still looking to finish out my chase. Um, uh, uh, I still have two chase cards before I consider getting any additional cards. None of these apply to me. Um, I got an error message say, Hey, you already have an account. So, but I just ignored that. See how far I can get in here to show you what happens when you apply for the card employment status. How much do you make before taxes each year? How much is your net worth? How much do you have liquid cash and investment because they want you to sign up for the investment account as well. So anyway, so after that, it, it sent me an error message I couldn't ignore. Uh, but basically, that's all it is to, to sign up for the card. If you're interested in getting 10% cash back up to 2400 per month or per year, uh, please use this code here. Definitely appreciate that. Help support the channel. And you also make some money. So this is a thing where one hand washes the other. QR code, link. Link in the description box down below or churningadventures.com or churningadventures at gmail.com. All right, today's question is, what does the Bible say about debt? So we're talking about credit cards. Each time we talk about credit cards, I like talking about debt. Um, but does the Bible actually say anything about debt? Oh, yeah, it does. Romans 13, 8, today's scripture says, Let no debt remain outstanding. Pay off your debt, except for the continuing debt to love one another. Now imagine how much better this place would be. Everyone would just be committed to loving each other. For however loves has fulfilled the law. So don't owe anybody any money. Owe people love, which can never be paid off. Uh, additional information about that, how to follow Jesus, link in the description box down below. And uh, still have comments off, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, or criticisms, hit me up, churningadventures at gmail.com, and I will get back to you. We will be talking more about M1. Um, we're going to be talking about the top uh, savings accounts. M1 is on there. They have 5%. So does one finance. Anyway, so uh, still here with me. Definitely appreciate it. These videos are not short, but they are profitable. Like the video if you appreciate profitable content on a consistent basis. Share this with anybody who would be able to benefit from it. Subscribe with bell notifications so you can be amongst the first to learn about such profitable opportunities. And with that, look forward to seeing the next one. Peace. And may God bless you.